that's the way it looks like when you have a blacked out Audi and it's fully tinted 360. Even the windshield fully tinted, I think it's a 5%. So if you like the way it looks like, you can do the same. But there is a consequences you might gonna face later on and you're gonna see what kind. So today I have this 2021 Audi A6 and it's a premium plus 45. What it means, you can Google it. There is a lot of different plus and minus, but the main reason why I want to do this car, because number one, it's cool. I mean, it is 2021, it's kind of new body and there is a lot of new technology and options. Whatever new car has, this 2021 Audi has them all. Number two reason, it is depreciated a lot from the original sticker price. And I do have a window sticker in this car since new. And the price for this car used to be 65,000. And right now it's gonna be on the market for about 25, 27,000, which gonna bring you for like half, more than half, 60%, 70% off from the original sticker. And it's still cool. It is nice to drive it. So in this car has a lot of technology, a lot of options, cool options, and it's still comfortable. The quality of this car inside and outside, it is great. I would say so. <clears throat> there is no major problems on that and it's good to go. Basically, I just have to do some maybe washes and cleanings, but I want to drive it several days. I drove those cars before. I used to have them. I never filmed it. I mean, I have kind of a uh, different opinion about Audi and VW, some of them, I like it a lot, some of them not, but when the car cool like that, it's fully tinted, it's black in and out, and all the options working good. I would love to drive it, review it, and show it to you how cool is this car, and the price for that you're gonna pay right now much cheaper than you. And again, I think 20, 25,000, there is a lot of different cars you can buy on the market. And most of the time you can go, I would say with practical one, but sometimes you want something cool, you know, looks good and feels good, you know, feeling expensive, but you're buying for cheap. That's kind of tricky point. And I'm always saying it is optional when you have that amount of money or you're ready to buy that kind of car. There is a lot of choices. You might gonna buy something older, less mileage, but super practical, maybe super economy like the Prius or Honda or Toyota. Or you're gonna buy something unpractical like Range Rover or Audi or BMW or VW. You might gonna face some problems later on. But again, most of the problems, they so easy to fix and you don't have to be scared about your choice. If you wanna buy the car like that, nothing gonna stop you just buy it drive it whatever gonna happen you're gonna face it and fix it so this car black on black looks cool and the chrome pieces got deleted not by me by previous owner i think this car has one owner previous but all the tail lights and headlights they've been tinted also i removed that because i don't like it at all but what i like i like all those cool options so number one audi 6 has a power lift gate that's kind of cool option why it's cool option because you can open the trunk by pushing the button on your key so i got the original window sticker when the car was brand new and msrp for this car sixty three thousand six twenty dollars and what i got i got uh, options so the car itself used to be 54 900 and there is a tons of option premium package plus executive package four zone climate control on the back also heated rear seats power trunk open and close ambient light sport package including 20 inch rims sport suspension audi beam rings audi beam rings 500 bucks i don't know what is that i think those are emblem maybe it's a black emblem i have no idea audi beam rings ah i know what is that you know what is that when you open the door you have those rings on the floor i think that's the option for 475 2021 Audi 90,000 miles there is no more warranty for engine and transmission you buying it at your own risk but when you buy the used car dealer from the dealer from the any dealer you always have that option to buy extended warranty used car extended warranty and it's cool option when you buy BMW or Audi so you're going to be protected at least for your engine transmission, at least for those kind of huge repairs you might gonna face, you might gonna pay from your pocket, but it's cool to have that used car warranty 
for any reason, especially if you buy that car as a finance. When you buy finance, you have to make a payments for the car, you have to make a payments for insurance. And if your engine not gonna feel good later on, maybe in a half year, or your transmission gonna get bad in half year the way you're driving it so you might gonna pay from your pocket three four thousand maybe more depends what kind of shop gonna charge you but if you have that cool option as a used car warranty for later on for two years whatever you get on the car finance that's gonna be huge and good protection for you i would buy it definitely from my experience whatever i know about the used cars and whatever i see the people buying it they like decline it wouldn't want it you know it's something extra my neighbor told me don't buy it because it's extra money but i think it's a smart choice especially if, if <clears throat> i think it's a smart choice because <clears throat> i think it's a smart choice when you buy used car and especially it's a german engineering those cars might, might gonna give you a lot of problems later on but it looks cool it drives great inside this car it's amazing and there's a lot of cool things what's related to the lamborghini or audi or vw the all kind of sharing the same technology and I'm going to show it to you right now what's going on inside the car. Let's go. So that's four cylinder 2.0 Audi, 248 horsepower and those kind of cars, it's easy to tune. There is a lot of things you can buy. There's an OBD tune, you can just plug it or you can go to your buddy who has kind of uh, program things he can plug it in you know and do some upgrades for your turbo so it's gonna boost a lot and you're gonna get more than 300 horsepower but is it safe for this car I would say no it's not especially if you bought a used car and you're trying to tune it so basically you squeezing all the juices from already squeezed engine so don't do that in my opinion 248 horsepower for this car that's more than enough again 90,000 miles on two years old car i would say it's two years old because we are in january 2024 and this car i know new car store has it since last year since december so basically it was two years old car when somebody traded in for something new and looks like the same owner who had this car he bought it at the same location of i mean <clears throat> looks like the same owner who bought this car back in 2021 from that Audi dealership he got it traded in right now and got something new so two years old car got 90,000 miles means in one year he drove 45,000 and next year he drove 45,000 so I think this guy might have something to do with New York maybe that's why he drove it back and forth or maybe he went to Mexico or maybe he was just driving every day a lot so that's a knowing question. I never have answers for that because everybody is different. Everybody has a different style of life and you might gonna drive it a lot or you might gonna keep it in your garage and that depreciation, depreciation not gonna hit you so hard. But I think again, when you buy that kind of car, Audi, BMW, or Mercedes, and the car itself gonna depreciate a lot, you have to drive it a lot. You have to just keep driving it because you know you're driving the money. Every mile you're gonna drive, your price, for the car the value of the car is going down so in my opinion you have to drive it as much as you can and squeeze whatever you can from this car it's not squeezed yet but it's been used a lot i would say for 2.0 engine that's a lot there is nothing specific major to talk about this car 250 horsepower 248 it's more than enough even this car is quattro and believe me when you have a whole family four passengers in this car it drives same super good on the freeway and it's more than enough horsepower for you to go from here to vegas and drive at any speed and same time it's more gas efficient than the v6 so between four cylinder and v6 i would go with four cylinder on the audi because v6 supercharge has more problems and the oil, co oil cooler for that engine it's one of the problem and mistakenly <music> From inside the car, what I like the most, all those screens. The screens are amazing. Number one, the mid multimedia and the climate control, all that kind of stuff. It is the same as the Audi e-tron or the most important thing, it's the same as the Lamborghini Urus. That's the coolest part in this Audi A6. 
not the coolest. The coolest part, it's going to be the cluster. So basically on the cluster, there is a lot of different options. What you can do, you can go on the sport mode and see your RPM and your speed. You can go on something else and see other graphics, maybe on your RPM or your speed. But again, the my favorite part about the cluster on the Audi, that's the map. So I can open the navigation, basically the map itself. So even this Audi 2021 has some problems. For example, right now, there is a message telling me about there is something wrong with my uh, pre-collision Audi presents. Currently limited, see owner's manual. So there is some things Audi don't like it and it's asking me to check the owner's manual to see how I can fix that thing. But to be honest, I don't want to fix it. I don't care what it shows me. There is no check engine light on yet and I have enough gas to drive around. But no, let's go around the car. So what I got here, besides the backup camera, I have a 360 cameras on this car and it's cool. It is super cool. It's easy to drive around. Plus it's easy to pick it up and find the parking spot when you fully tinted this car it's 360 tinted and the headlights tail lights they've been tinted also but i removed that film i don't like it why i don't like it because i cannot drive it at night so my windshield tinted but it's cracked so and i have to replace it it's not that pricey actually i checked the price for the windshield not original but the good brand maybe chinese it's gonna cost me about 450 probably i'm gonna find something cheaper and i'm gonna try to replace it for about maybe 360 380 how i'm gonna do that that's a special trick so you just calling around all the shops and see who's gonna give you the best price and after you're gonna screenshot it and text it to the other people and you're gonna ask them to do your discount so you can you can do a lot of things you can find a good price for the labor or installation or replacement or something else by shopping around as always people doing and as always if i want to save money on any kind of job for the car i want to get the tires done i want to get the brakes done or oil change or something else you're going to call around shop around but same time you're going to push them with the price whatever you got somewhere else cheaper and if they don't want to do it just give them some time and call them again and see if they will be able to do so most of the time it works especially if you know what you're asking for if you're asking the good price for some labor or for some installation you just have to know who you're going to ask and what kind of job needs to be done basically as always you know basic information and now you can ask what do you need so there is a lot of cool buttons in this audi and uh, you always want to push it i always want to push this and that button so it's 2.0 engine uh it's not super performance engine not v6 not supercharged but the car looks so good s line like s line but it's not s line it's just a regular audi a6 quattro so what's the most common problem on this audi besides the engine and oil oil leak so on the mileage like that about, I would say it's over mileage car. That's what I like because the new car, it was 65,000 MSRP two years ago. Now we are in 2024 and this car depreciated so much. Even it has 90,000 miles, who cares? The car still drives good. It looks amazing. And it's gonna be about 25, between 20, 25,000 to get this car. So it's one third of the price of the new car isn't cool it's cool so right now we currently have this one this option for the cluster we can do on the sport change it now yes and we're going on the sport mode on the sport mode on the cluster again we can take the map almost out and we're only going to see <clears throat> the gauges but i like the map so besides that we can go on the classic classic that's about the same as the sport we only have what's the difference red zone ah okay so the numbers on a on a gauge changing the numbers on the gauge is changing but that's about the same so the dynamic mode the one used to be before with all the graphics for some reason i don't like it i like more the classic way because i don't like that 
even that reminded me Audi R6. That's the love of my life right now. <laughs> I drove it once and that Audi R6 is just amazing car. It's gonna fit all my needs because that car that car is amazing. So anyway, let's go back. So what we've been checking for, we've been checking, I've been checking for uh, ambient light. So basically I want to change the ambient light and see how this car is going to look like. I think it's going to be somewhere right there. Audi, Audi, setting service, air conditioning, driver assistance, favorite one, settings. What about the settings? Why, why it's so hard? to find that ambient light. Why it's so hard? I want to change it. I need a button. I mean, like the Ford, you know, if you're going to check 2010 Ford Fusion, there is a button for that. You can change the color. You can turn it on and off. Here, I have to spend a lot of time to find that option. Where is that? And change it. So let's take a, let's take a, let's take a, oh, lights, interior lights interior lights nice i got it so now we have a brightness we can turn it off we can turn it on all the way but besides that i want to change the color counter so it's going to be white vision like a little bit yellowish solar 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 is it changing i think it is Impulse red, oh blue. Caribbean, Caribbean, hey, hey, nice. I think on the new cars like Audi or Mercedes or something else, it's so cool to be able to change the color of the interior inside your car while you're driving it. Why? Because it's gonna affect your mood. So basically you're driving the car, it's all red inside you know you're going on a date or you're going to work you want to hit your job so hard so everybody gonna feel it so you're gonna go red everywhere black and red what could be cooler than that but after job after work you're done with whatever you're doing or you're done with your dating and the dating was good you're driving back home you want to relax you know you want to put your mood on a nice uh, shape condition so you're changing the ambient light in the car on the blue blue it's kind of much better than red i think depends what you want to do but anyway the changing of light inside the car while you're driving it depends on your mood i think it's a cool option and the audi did it what it's not so comfortable on the audi a6 i would say that suspension uh suspension on the audi a8 much better I would say much softer this car it's kind of sportish so all the suspension all the settings of the suspension made to be kind of sport so it's not that soft the car is easy to control and the suspension itself in my opinion feels good it's in good condition so i push the brake nothing loose nothing moving because usually on a especially on a older cars like or the car with mileage germany cars for some reason there is a lot of bushings and arms they're going bad ball joints they're making noise uh if you are the current owner of bmw or you had bmw before or audi before you probably noticing sometimes you're pushing the brake hard and the car just moving something like knock knock knocking something moving something living alone from your car the soundproof on this audi it's it's good it's <laughs> it's a high quality because i cannot hear the engine i cannot hear my exhaust i'm just driving with no music no sound inside and i can hear nothing what's going on outside this car so the main problem what i what i faced several times already on the audi a6 and the a8 q5 and the q7 all those cars was a high i mean all those cars used to be low mileage and the most common problem it is a rear differential or transfer case basically when you have the audi and you drove it for the period of time or you are the second owner you never pay any attention for the fluids like i'm always saying and some people making uh, jokes of that no 
like I'm always saying, the maintenance of any car, that's most important thing, especially if you're buying the used car. So what's going on with this car, the liquid fluid inside your transmission transfer case or the rear differential going bad. And that fluid has a special <clears throat> and that fluid has a special silicon ingredients. So basically you bind the silicon itself, separate from the fluid. You just have to mix it, put it together or put it separate, but both together. And you have to do it on the 50,000 miles, replace that. Otherwise, what's gonna happen, your differential not gonna work properly. So basically sometimes the both wheels, they're turning together and they're making a lot of noise, grinding noise or something else, or the wheels gonna get stuck. And you, when you're trying to turn it, you're not gonna be able to turn it smooth because the differential getting stuck, it's not separating and both wheels trying to turn together. And again, sometimes you go into the mechanic shop and mechanic shop saying, you know, your transfer case is bad. So we have to replace the whole transmission because we have no idea what's going on about that fluid or we have no idea how to take it apart and put it back together. So for most of the shops, maybe it's only Los Angeles or maybe it's only me who's going to the shop with problem like that. They always trying to tell you some kind of easy thing for them but more expensive for you and i know couple shops who's always trying to save me money but at the same time they have more knowledge how to fix things and one guy he told me you know just let's start from the fluid because it's uh, those parts they super sensitive on the fluid whatever they have inside so we change it once on the rear differential and that noise that problem kind of got away but the car getting, was getting stuck again after you driving for a while and we changed the fluid on the transfer case and the problem got, got away. So after that, I got several times the same Audi with same problems and by replacing the fluid, it saved me tons of money, believe me or not. So basically, that's one of the common problems, one of the most common problem on the Audi I met. Maybe there is more problems, but again, I'm not talking about the old generation of Audi because the old cars and especially high mileage cars, they have a lot of problems with the misfiring, CVT problem, coils, low compression, valves, turbo leak, overboost, oil leak, coolant leak, and on and on and on. Most of the new generation VW and Audi, they have a small problems and it's usually not that expensive to fix. Maybe those kind of cars over 150,000, they're gonna give you more problem. But again, up to 100,000 miles, like the things, small oil leak, you know, the, the fluid replacement or the spark plugs, or maybe evaporation system evap for your poor solenoid or something like that. It's not that expensive, but you get in a lot. I would say 25,000 for that kind of car with technology, which is super similar to Lamborghini Urus. And you might gonna get that feeling when you're driving this car. I think it's a cheap money to get that kind of car in this kind of condition. But the way it looks outside, especially in this color and in this set, it's just amazing. It doesn't look like car for 25,000. It looks like 60,000, 50,000. It looks like you pay money. And some people who's not familiar with Audi or VW, they might gonna say, is it S6 or it's an S line or it's something expensive or it's a V6 maybe supercharged or something else. But definitely they're gonna say it is expensive car the way it looks outside and inside.